you know, I still work on all this stuff. I don't. I, I don't. Yes. It's it's something that you never. It, you know, a a, a violinist <coughs> works on long tones for their entire life. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. For, for musicians, orchestral musicians, friend. They, they work on their scales and arpeggios forever. Yes. Never goes away. We're refining, building proper muscle memory, right? It, and it becomes a, um, really a way of life. <clears throat> so we're looking at the single strokes. Now, if we, uh, let's see, I know you have a soft pad. Maybe we'll, we'll just play on, play on the uh, regular pad. Um, so, and, and you, you've gotten the speed up there. I wonder if you could go ahead and put it, put it at 48. Let me see what happens at 48. Let me see how this all is. Just one, two, three, four, five. One, two. What's the accent again? So we're, going, we're trying to fit five within one click, okay. right? Hey, this is this is why Dave Wilson would have you come in for a foot lesson in between <laughs> your regular hand lessons. Yeah, uh, yeah, fake, fake, quick. <laughs> and and to provide the proper caveat, you you suffered a work related, not a non drumming related injury in your right hand. And so you, you you had to take a minute off minute off when it came to working on it. See, it's better already. Yeah, right. So what what? And now I get to practice in matched. That's always interesting. Uh, so let's see. We're at forty eight. One, two, three, and then we're just going to wait because this technique has so much to do with finding the floor. Without the floor, we're not really playing this technique. And the floor can be a little bit mysterious, perhaps. Um, but we're, we're always moving. We're always moving around the floor. You see, we're trying to get, we have to get to the floor. If we're going to make an upstroke, we need to be able to, we need to know where that floor is. If we're up here, now we're playing up here. So we, this technique is all about, it's, it's what Murray Spivak has Louis Belson do in that absolutely wonderful video. Of yeah. Louis teaching the legendary, uh, Murray teaching the legendary Louis Belson. And he, he talks about the fact that he starts, I think the video starts with him working on what is, I know we're playing single strokes, but that's not the single stroke, which is one of the seven basic strokes. But he, but he has, he has Louis just bent forward. Now, if Louis was up here and he bent forward, he wouldn't even touch the surface. <laughs> you have, you have to do something. So you see, you want to be real close to the surface. Like Murray says, you're so close to the surface, you can't help but make a note. We need to be able to right? because it's all eventually a wrist turn, but we have this upstroke to a downstroke, and that's a huge part of the technique, and it's a huge part of the technique in that it has a lot to do with uh, half the effort and twice the speed, mm. right? Okay, so we're just gonna lock everything in because it's been a minute, but we have the grip, right? And we don't need to hold, hold the stick overly tight. We don't, we don't need to crush it. We just need to have, a, it's, it's, it's firm, comfortable and constant in the guide. And 
when I'm playing singles, just make just make two notes and stop. See, once you get the one note, then the next note has to be the same. If the next note is different, listen, I'm tighter for the second note. Mm -hmm. Here for the second note, I'm doing something funny with my arm, leveraging up, and it changes it. We need the notes to sound the same. And I, and I feel that once I lock into that idea, relax everything. See, I'm always searching for the same thing I'm having you search for. But once you get one note, to get the next note, you can't change anything. You don't, can't change pressure. You can't change the height of the wrist turn or, or it'll sound it'll sound like. Now, if that's what the music was requesting, that'd be correct. But if we're trying to play two even notes, I don't feel any pressure change here in the first finger of thumb. And the stick in, in the middle finger, I'm not using my fingers. I just maintain even pressure. See, it's pretty good, you see? You don't want to change anything once you got that. Now just go tap, 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 and just keep that. You're turning a little higher now. Notice, just a little. You lost, right? You really want to lock in. Once you get it, you got it. <laughs> don't change it. Okay, so that's pretty good. So what we're doing, and then stop playing. So what we're searching for, what I'm searching for, what we're all searching for is this feeling. Ah. So we're going to play a pass to three and wait. And then I'm going to settle in. See, in the traditional grip, uh oh, see, look, it's this traditional, this is supposed to be here. There it is. Come on, got to find the floor. Yeah, stop in between. And I find the floor. Oh, that's a little forward. Oop. Oop. There it is. There it is. See, I'm searching too. I want to be relaxed right down at the floor and a little burst of speed shouldn't, should, but will, even if you've been playing for years, all, all the muscles are firing, things start to happen and you lose, in traditional, you lose this, the half a box, for mm. those traditional guys and gals. Or in, in match, do you lose the 45 degree angle? And suddenly the shoulder might be up, suddenly one might go forward, and then you want to just evaluate in between. So one, two, three. Oh, let's see. There, there it is. One, two, three. Oh, all right. Is everything settled? Okay, so you're just going to take. In between each pass, you're just going to take a moment and analyze everything. It takes a lot of patience, right? So, but that's that's what there's this there's this guy at a Juilliard that he, he just sits there and waits for everything to calm down before he'll there. See, I want to. Wait for everything to calm down. Out the shank. Not bad. Not bad. Fit. But everything settled down. So that meditation, that patience, that we're looking to eliminate 
any unnecessary motion. Yeah. So if, if you come to rest and suddenly the left has gone forward, that's unnecessary, even that much. That's what we're into. We don't want anything unnecessary. We don't need shoulders lifting if they don't need. What do we really need to make a throw? That's it. Nothing else. If you find that you're doing this, and the elbow's out, something's wrong. Unnecessary motion, yeah. lack of efficiency. It's this. There. That's what we're going for, okay? So yes. it, this, this gets meticulous and can be frustrating, but whether you know it or not, you, you, you are eliminating excessive motion. Mm. As we go along, helping you get faster, more relaxed so that you can Get your musical thoughts out. Okay. Yeah. I buy the instrument. Okay, so we're gonna play we're gonna we're gonna play this now. We're gonna we're gonna play three. And in between each pass, we're gonna stop. Right. And as far as but the click is those one, two, three, four, five click. Well one, two, three, four, five click. No, no. It's click on the next click or yeah, it's good, good. We'll we'll just go over Click. One, two, three, four. Click. So the act, the, the last note is the click. The next the click, and then you wait, and then you wait until the next click to start the pattern again. Oh, you wait until your body calms down. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. And but at each time, it each iteration speeds up, adds a note. Yeah. It requires us to play more quickly because we have to end with the click, but fit in one more note. So the notes. Are going to become closer together and more quick. Right. Now on your left. That's right. Let everything hang. Now remember. Looks okay. This space shouldn't be quite that big. I don't think. Yeah, you see, because if you just let it lay in your middle finger, wait to get the grip. Just middle finger. And then we bring the first finger and thumb in. And if they're firm, comfortable, and constant, they they look something like that. So you can see into my hand. Yeah, it's not it's not this. It's it's not this. I don't know, I can't even do it anymore. It's, it's, see if you're just playing with one with just the first finger and thumb, what would it look what would it look would it look like this? No, you're you're holding this thing. You have to hold it. And if you're holding it, these fingers would come together like little pincers or pincers, but we're not pinching. But they'd come together, wouldn't they? Just take this. See, that looks really good right now. Your look, your right is more. Oh, there it is. You have to, you have to be firm and comfortable and constant, but not overly tight. I, I think Murray would do this sometimes. He he he. You could move the move the stick through the through the hand. You don't want to be so tight that you can't move the stick. You uh, pool, pool cue kind of pool cue kind of feeling, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. See, we have a new metaphor. Yeah. So close up this space, meaning that you're actually holding here. It proves to me that you have a grip. Okay, now relax your elbow. See your elbows out on the right? There, it's the efficiency of that. So find the feeling that you're going to look for. It, this feeling. Get the grip, close it up a little bit up front, let it lay in the middle finger. Back fingers have very little to do. There it is. Memorize that feeling. Intellectually recognize it from a physical point of view. Get in touch with it. Okay, go ahead and play. One pass and stop. Why'd you play the last one? Oh, wait, wait, you didn't wait. Uh, it's new for you. Come on, how's your grip? Looks pretty good. How's your arms? Arms look good. Do it again now, leading with the left. Don't make the last note louder. Right's just, uh, come on, let the right settle down a little. That'll, dusty. there it is. Other way, don't lose, you lost your grip a little up front, notice. It's inefficiency. You won't want to be changing your grip, but it's leaving it. Once you decide what it is, there it is. Don't make the last note louder to prove to you that you can play in time. That's beautiful. Move on to the next one. Remember, we're, we're maintaining a particular height of turn so that it's always the same. And wait. Are you letting go of the front and the left a little? One, two, three, and. See, 
Three up front. One and two and three and. And I'm waiting. Oh, I'm going to shoulder school though. Come on, let your arms hang. Come on, don't lose your grip. Don't start doing this. Okay, it looks different, doesn't it? It's, it's this. There it is. Other way. One and two and three and. Right at the floor. Up to your grip in the at your left, how your first finger and thumb, both hands have opened up a little. Why would they change? Come on, let your elbow hang in the right. But I do it again. Three end. One, two, three end. Pretty good. Don't let go. Just because you're not playing, you don't let go. It's very comfortable to begin with. You don't need to let go. And that means maybe you're squeezing too tight. But you need to hold the stick. We're actually holding the stick. So there is some effort. How much? K4. One, two, three, four. Grip, elbows, shoulders, everything. Come on, grip up front. Not, not bad, though. Other way. One, two, three, four. Uh oh. Got a little higher, gotten a little out of control. Right? One, two, three, four. Ah, there. I was holding my right shoulder a little tight. One, two, three, four. Ah, that's not bad. Go for it. Right, a little higher than the left, but not bad. Don't lose your grip up front. Relax your arm. Okay. One, two, three, four, and. Ah, one, two, three, four, and. One, two, three, four, and. Keep them all the same height. Doesn't get louder as you go along. Not bad, though. One, two, three, four, and. Let everything settle down. Let all the city, all the little muscles that just got triggered come back to rest. How about five? Let everything settle down. Come on, grip up front and the left. You fix it yourself there. Don't let the elbow. Just because you fix this doesn't mean the elbow goes up. It's just, just, just grip. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you made the last note too loud. It would have been perfect. Look great, right? Three, four, five. There you go. Five down. One, two, three, four, five. Five in. One, two, three, four, five in. One, two, three, four, five in. Not bad. Don't make the last note ladder. One, two, three, four, five in. Oh, that's a good one. Six. Okay, start off by letting everything settle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't get all tight. Don't don't start adding more force. Don't get louder. If you're not turning higher, it shouldn't be louder. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six and. That was good. Good. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six and. Let everything relax. Grip in the right. That's it. There you go. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, and. Oh, that's not bad. It's, how about seven? See, before I play, I want to. I want to feel that. I know this is where this. The, the, the everything emanates from this level of relaxation. So what, what are we? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, 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 left crept just a little forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, we're looking right to get, we're looking for landing on the bottom of the feet. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, a little 
little louder, got a little stressed out towards the end, but not bad. Relax everything. Just relax. Ah, other way. You're ready. They add on the same hand, it starts, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, not bad. Okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, seven and with seven and. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and. Yeah, it's good. Grip in the right. First finger, don't let it go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know we're up there now. We're up there. Yeah, it's it's our problem us. One, two, three. Oh, see, I didn't take the time. I went willy nilly. Hey, I'm busted. No, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do this too, because I don't do this, this grip very often. So. For, I'm teaching this way so often. Wish I could find some more traditional students. Let's see. Relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I see. Right, come on, you know, your elbow's sticking out. No, no, no. It's got to come back to that when you're done. Oh, this is working for you. Other way. Relax your arms. Ah, grip. Everything looks great right now. Burst of energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's, that's just let everything relax. Find that feeling again. You're there. You're there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so you see? Okay, you're getting the idea. Uh huh. Uh huh. You take a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. You just need to spend some time on your own now. Yeah. But that was very good. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it was nice. <clears throat> very cool. Okay, so we're just going to... 48. That's pretty good. That's up there. Yeah. Was, yeah, so is it... Yeah. Okay. And, and nothing should be hurting. Even though you have an injury right now, you can't even... You find it hard to write with a pen. Right. But there's, there's nothing happening. Bro, no, look at your elbow. You're back to this. Speedy Gonzalez. I'm going to play fast. No, no, no. There, you're back. Stay low. Just a tiny little turn. Now relax. Okay, but it helps to relax in between. There, you're back. That's what you do in between. Get this. There, see? There. You really look like you know what you're doing right now. It's good. Okay. All right. <laughs> so let's let's take a look at. Uh, uh, we're we're, we're going to take a step. You see, in a sense, we took a step back. We oh, went yeah. Something you've worked on before, and yet we took like five steps forward. Right. So. Just because we're going back and reevaluating things, that doesn't mean we're going backwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're working on the flam accent number two. Into, well, first of all, we're working on a throw into alternating flams. Into flam accent number two. into Murray Spivak 6-8 up and down stroke exercise. So you want to pull the flam accent number two out. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if you actually be, need to be looking at, 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 uh, at the faint flam page with the flams on it. I mean, right. at point you know what a flam is. Yep. Um, and unless you have a big enough music stand, but uh, But if yeah, it's bound, so I can't. I gotta kind of flip them, but yeah, do, do, just I want you to have the speed back six eight and the flam accent number two up. Yeah. Now where is where is that? Find it. 
There we go. Okay. <coughs> so, I think I had you at around 60 to start. Let's get a feel for what's happening. Okay, so. Uh, I have one of those very metronomes somewhere around. <laughs> yeah, it's called a classic. I've had this forever. Yeah, right. Me too. Um, so once again, there are certain aspects to this technique that are so fundamental that without knowing them, you, you won't be playing this technique. So what I remember noticing a little while back, but what I remember was that you were having problems making consistent throws, and throws are what are required uh, for the flam accent number two, uh, for the, the speed back approach to playing alternating flams, and for the uh, speed back upstroke and downstroke exercise whether in 4-4 four, four or 6-8, we need to know how to make a throw. Now, in the speedback exercise, there, there, there are accents. Now, they call the flam accent number two a flam accent number two, but there are no accents marked. But, but, but we're going to be making... We're, we're going to be playing a little accent. Okay, so we're going to start off now once again for me. The traditional grip, grip throw, and this isn't set up for traditional grip, so it's a little low. It's not, it's pad is an angle a little bit. But you see over here, I'm trying to get back to, you know, that feeling that we have like this when we're not, when we're not playing. I'm trying to get back to, back right to there. In the right, I'm trying to turn, turn my wrist. And see, found myself just a little off kilter and get back to here. Now, for me, can I do that in the left? It feels, it feels a little more foreign, but essentially, we're looking, we, we, we need this part of it. And yeah, it's not bad right there. Okay, so let's go over the throw again. The throw has us going up while we leave the B down. And I already think your, your elbow, see if everything is just hanging here at the floor, which you just experienced with the other exercise. So this will dovetail perfectly. What we're looking to do is come up. Now, when we're, when we're playing in actual music, we don't we won't be stopping like this. This is remedial, but there you go. See your grip looks good. So as I begin to turn to the ceiling, my forearm goes down. And, and then I land. When we go to play in real time, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be musical. Do go back good go ah good to go so we don't we don't we don't want to be waiting in an unmusical way uh, although it does help to describe how to make this stroke hmm. now remember let not bad now remember um for remedial purposes you, you've got that part of it right now what happens next in slow motion Forearms coming down, forearms coming down. Come on, Eric, come on, let it, and complete your stroke. There's your, that's not bad. Forearms got to come down now. Yeah. Ah, not, that's not bad. Okay. Up, oh, elbow. Okay, now on the other hand, how will it, how will it look? What, what about your grip? Wait, I would suggest setting up the way I described. And so you're about to play the singles exercise. Ah, you're back. Show me the first part of it. Uh -huh. And now what happens is slow motion. You turn, the forearm comes down. Come on, let it come. Don't push it down, but it's going to come down and you're going to complete the motion. Right? And you found that you went off just a little. So something was inefficient, but not 
Oh, nice. So that's what we're doing. Now built into that is uh, built into that motion is the availability with regards to potential upstroke. You're making a lovely up motion, and within the context of that beautiful motion up, we can also turn that into an upstroke by allowing the stick to touch the surface. Now there are two ways to go up, right? And and that is gravity. Yeah, I, I got to do it too, letting everything hang. There's it's got gravity, which is what which is what Murray has Louis do. See, he just lets it fall. Or we can turn. We can add muscular force. This difference is subtle, but is. Uh, real. OK, so. If we're going to be playing alternating flams. We need to have our throws. That's why I suggested you start off just by making. Throws. certain speed because if it's too slow we make an upstroke and we're waiting up here so we have to find the speed because if it's too slow we, we wouldn't make it an upstroke we, we'd make a little tap then we'd go up and then we'd oops see oh i did nah, that's not bad but if we're going to get if we're, what we want to do is start to experience upstrokes Now, what I want to see more of, I want to see more of this. This, you see how you can watch, watch, watch what happens. I'm going up. So you can see the inside of my hand for a moment. Mm. There it is. See, you can see the, it gets to here and then this thing flips up. Or we don't have, we don't have the feeling, we don't have the feeling of a wrist turn. It's, it's more of something like this. Look, it kind of looks right, watch. It, that that that's some kind of, of some wrist and, and I'm pushing with my forearm. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see this come up. I want to see a a wrist turn. I want to see a wrist turn. Hmm. Uh, so. There you go. You gotta put, let, turn that stick to the ceiling and show me the show me the hand. Show me that. Talk to the hand. Now remember. Now remember, as you, it's not bad. Remember, oh, we're back to slow motion again. But if I come up that high, the forearm's got to come down. I, I don't just get to here and then turn my hand up with nothing happening. Then I, then I still have to shove everything. So this has to, the forearm has to come down. Okay. So I want to turn. I want to turn to the ceiling. Forearm comes down. Oh, why is your elbow? Why do I see why do I see this? You don't see stuff behind you. Yeah, it's the form it's tripping me up, so I can't. Uh, right. You've had it really. You've already had it pretty good. Hey, I'm talking. We're talking tiny bits here, so you were fine. You've been right. fine. So it's, stop. You have to set yeah. up. No yeah. set. All right, but I don't think you started right. Uh, you see your elbow. I uh, look. Look at. Look in your mind. You can. See, you can see stuff behind you. It's not silver. You can see the, the fl floor behind you, right. or maybe white cabinet, whatever that is. There you go. No, you push down with your forearm. It came up. Everything's relaxed. Now turn. Good. Turn a little higher. Hold on to that stick. Don't let it flop around. 
There it is. Not bad. Okay, and wait. Now wait, let everything settle down like with your single set. Come on, let the elbow hang. Come on, let the shoulders. Yeah, feel that difference. See, that's where the right shoulder is. That's where the, now I don't see any space. When you land, it's, the right should look like that. Try it again. Don't bring the bead up as you go up. Leave it down. The forearm is countervailing, and then in the other direction countervails. Now, not bad. Now do it in the other hand. Grip, 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 grip. Set up. Go on up. Try not to drag the bead up on the way up. It really does sit there until you bring it up. Leave it down just a little longer, but pretty darn good. Leave it down a little longer. There it is. Now turn a little higher. Leave it down. Whoa! Pretty good. Okay. Starting to, starting to happen. Okay. Now, all you have to do is on the way up, we're just going to touch, touch, throw, touch, throw, touch, throw, touch. Throw. Here I'm just letting it drop. Throw. Oh, look at your elbow. It's, it gets a little wonky. I could let, let you go like that for another 10 years and then just go through all the strokes and then, but let's, let's, let's fix this now. There it is. Turn to the ceiling. Don't forget that. Leave the bead down. Boom. Oh, you brought the bead up too soon. Boom. You got it. Boom. Throw. Boom. Ah, you yanked the bead up. Leave it down. Boom. There it is. Come on. Don't bring it up as your forearm goes up. The bead stays right up. See? Came up just a little. Yeah, that's right. Got to be that perfect. Not bad. Now, go ahead. Let's see if 60 is a good tempo for you. Find the right tempo here. Okay. Good work. Just playing quarter notes. Metronome is a quarter note at 60. No, look at your elbows. No, no, no. You know it and I do too. There it is. Now you're now you look like a, one of the great drummers. Right? You have that look. Come on, get your grip together on the left. Yeah, you don't, don't leave it all open. Hold it comfortably. Wow, it looks really good. See? It's gonna look like that for the rest of your life if you care to keep going forever. Don't bring the beat up. No, you bring the beat up too soon. Leave the beat down a little longer in the left. Talk to the ceiling. You got to get all that timing. Look at the our forearms are not too bad. Now turn those into, got to get all the way to the floor on the right. All the way. So stop. See, so, you see, I did it too. I, I showed you. Oh, 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 <laughs> right? So don't be bugged. Yeah, that's what it should look. See, now you're at the floor. Now you're in a position where you can really make an upstroke. You see there. So now go ahead, but play in time as you were. But come all the way to the floor on just throwing. Floor, floor, floor. Leave the B down a little longer. Look a little more flexible. Give me more gooseneck. Come on, are you at the floor? Left's better than the, there is your left. Right at the floor, not your right. Stop. Look at your right. Look where it is. Look, look where it is. No, get it down to the floor. Floor. There. Let the elbow hang. Elbow's not hanging. No. There. Grip, 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 grip in both hands. You're back. See, that's what this technique is about. Okay, now, gonna, now you're going to play alternating plans. No, you don't get to lift up. We just went through this whole thing. Where you just let the beat down when you went up and gave me more gooseneck. I said it twice. How's it going to work? Oh, that's his heart beating. Okay, it's not quite happening yet. <laughs> okay, so we'll have to break it down one more, one more level. We're going to go even further back so that we can go further forward. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do is let's 
Tempo. Up, 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 down. Wait, wait. Up, down. Wait, I would have liked to have turned higher to the ceiling. Not bad. Up, down. That was a pretty good one. See? This is how, this is how we practice. So, metronome. No, it's just the right hand. Oh you can leave the right to the left in position. With the right, we're working on. So start with not only your grip, it looks a little tinty, but something, it's, it's not this, like that. That's right, that's right. So you're just gonna make a little tap as you go up. Just let it drop, there it is. But give me a little more gooseneck, a little more gooseneck. Drop it, there it is. See, it's, it's just like the throw you've been making. Do you yank it up too soon? You got it, you're back. Get to the floor while you're waiting. It's giving you, there. You're back in position to really play your rear end off. Okay, so I'm just doing alternating flam, so. Well, no, you're just in the right. We're just, you, you just had a breakthrough. You, you're right, really working. Do it again. Okay, give me a, but no, oh, you have to wait two clicks in between. So you have a chance to get to the floor. You're up in the air. Come on, it's not bad, come on. Two, elbow, elbow, two clicks in between. Go for it. Mm. All right, don't get to raise your arm. No, you don't. You're just going to drop it forward like you're going to do a regular throw. Drop, throw. There, don't forget to cock to the ceiling. Drop. That was good. Cock a little more to the ceiling. It'll, it, it'll, it'll help your forearm come down. Don't let it flop around. Hold on to it a little. Come on, turn more to the ceiling. Don't turn to the ceiling for your drop at the beginning. It just drops. Boom. If you turn to the ceiling a little more, you're perfect. Boom! Yes. Other hand, do that. There's an honest to goodness up. Just down, up, stroke to down. Right at the floor, aren't you? Yes, you are. Just a little more, uh, leave the bead down kind of thing. More talking to the ceiling. One, both sides. Oh, leave it down a little while. That's a pretty good one. Can't you just put them together? Tap, tap. Let's see. Wait, wait. Tap. One on. Let's figure something out here. Let's see. Oh, uh, so yeah. So that the uh, one up on the tap, tap. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, but see, it's gone now. Now it's just kind of fine into some sort of amorphous kind of approximation. Okay, so how can you do this? So, yeah. yeah, so right, I'm trying to help you really get this. I kind of wish Dick Wilson had done more of that with me. He just kept me moving. It's cool. All right. um, and you don't want to spend too much time on, uh, the, the, you know, what is it, the, the technical aspect of, of everything. You need to get the student through the strokes and so on. See, are you turning up in the right? So let's see. We're going to start. We're going to start with. Let's see. Hmm. How would we do? look? See, that was a terrible throw. Did you not? By the way, see, I'm ragging on you, and I go like this. No. So, but I'm trying to figure out how to create create a thing that we seriously do that. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That wasn't bad. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Up, up, up. Let's just do that. So we're going up, 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 up. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. In, in way, so it, 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 grip, grip. Come on, settle everything in. Get it right. Get it right. You're not even playing. It's got to be right if you're not playing. Okay, so you're going to make an upstroke in the in the right, up, the and, then you're, and then you're going to make make a little tap. Sorry, an upstroke, which means a tap. Right. So, and then you're going to play, and as you come down, you're going to play a right slam. A little tap there, and that and that hand is going to go up. All right. So. Down, 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 down. Oh. Stop. Just that, that's that. Just that. This is really remedial. Let's see. So it goes: doom, ah, ah, om, 
a a a a a yeah so the so the the the, the little uh, uh, adjutor on the right is going to be very small even though normally it would be another upstroke but mm -hmm. just join that yeah yeah you're right 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 just, right. just make a left lamp to make making a left left lamb and not an upstroke in the right it would just make a tiny tap wouldn't it think that's what you're going to do at the end so you can start with the up make two ups boom, boom, boom. there and wait get everything settled do it again are you 60 probably yeah you're about 60 so 60 and just do that come on set up set up grip grip arms everything there it is um uh -huh, you got it come on uh -huh. um, um, ah, i already lost it what am i doing this up up, up, up there it is do it again keep going yeah. okay good you, you, you took more time than i i it stopped everything settled down it's very good Within time, though, it's one, two. It's fine. Set everything settled down. Grip, grip, grip. Too much space up front. Do it again. One. Is this uh, so this is eighth notes? One and oh my god. I playing with playing to the click. Just quarter notes. Um, ah. Now remember the gig is we drop it. We don't lift right there. We just drop. Um, there it is. There it is. You hit rest, right? You got it. Do it again. Very good. Look at you. Okay, now when you're ready, keep it going. It's just that. But you have to maintain all of it. Up. 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 Just drop for the up. Up. Drop. Drop. Set the floor. Yeah, well, not bad. You're getting it. Set up, set up, and I like your grip. Yeah. Set up, relax everything. Oh, oh, you got to come to the floor in the right. There it is. Set. Not bad. Okay. So that's a cool way to get started, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that sets you up to get this. And then when you're ready, just keep it going. Always comes back to the floor, to the floor, cock to the ceiling. You're not cocking in the right, you're not cocking to the ceiling. There it's coming on, coming on, cock to the ceiling, floor in the right, and stop, and stop, and stop. And now lower everything. It's okay. I have to do it too. Do it again. Just go right into alternating clams. After a few passes, stop. Oh, you don't turn to the ceiling to start. You so just first, drop. You just you just drop it. Uh, 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 it's an upstroke. It's an upstroke. It's an upstroke. It's an upstroke. It's a drop. It's an upstroke. If you look at the ceiling, it's not okay. You're getting it now. Now let's let's just forget the flam accent number two. Yeah. Let's keep this simple for a second. It that. Uh, is a little more complicated than so if we're doing that let's see how we do this let's see how did i do that I would, ah, ah, up 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 No, no, no. Uh, now I just want you to play these this feedback. Six eight. Oh, okay. Okay. Because the you got you got an upstroke based on the flam. Now you're going to use utilize that mo very motion up. There it is, see? But you got a stop and stop. Stop. Not bad, but now we're going to just improve it a little. What happened to cock into this unit? Don't lose that. Arms, arms relaxing. Go for it. More cock into the there, cock to the ceiling to the floor. Now you're ready for your up, which is just a drop and stop and stop and set up just like the speed back single sixes. You're ready to go again. 
We're cocking the right to the ceiling. And then a little turn and then a drop and then a little turn and then a drop. OK, now that's pretty good. Now put your left on your path. This is also difficult. I shouldn't even. My bad. So put it on your cap so your arm can hang. Yeah, you see, that's why Dick would have you do that. Grip, grip, grip in the right. Your elbow's out. You've got that angular thing going on. The speedy gun, I don't we call it a speedy gun, Alice. I don't know why. Oh, uh, no, I don't like where your arm is. Show me where the arm's going to end up. Play. Figure out what the right is doing. Well, you can make motions in your left too if you're trying to duplicate this. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah, no, and you can just turn, I guess. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Ah, mess me up. It's so it it does, doesn't it? Forget the other hand for a minute. Yeah. I just we're just now we're going to go into one handed playing because remember this technique is really single handed playing. Mm. That's really what this technique is all about. Right? And then you could bring the one hand that can really play together with the other hand that can really play and suddenly you can really play. Yeah, so we're working on individual hands. In a sense, of course, there is a matter of coordinating. That's another thing. That's why this can be strange. You have to split your mind in a certain way. But let's just make sure we understand. Don't, don't even bother right now. Let's let's just get the one hand. So we, we know we're gonna make we know we're gonna make that downstroke. Ah. So it's so it's ah, I'm at the floor. So we're gonna go ah. So it's one, see, one, two, three, four, ah, 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 ah turn up, ah, turn up, ah, turn up. Ah, turn up. Ah, turn up. That's all that's happening, right? Turn up. Now, are you talking to the ceiling? Are you giving me enough of the bend? Are you leaving a bead down on the? There it is. So make that turn in between too big. Just, it's, it's normal. Come on, cock to the slings. Looking darn good. All the way to the floor. All the way to the floor. C gooseneck, cock. <laughs> Hurry, will kill me. Come on, cock your wrist to the ceiling a little more. There it is. There it is. Now do that in the other hand. A little more cock into the ceiling. A little more cock to the ceiling. All the way to there. See, left comes to the floor nicely. There. Now put them together. It's nothing. It's nothing. Ah, <laughs> it's still you put them together. Uh, so. so we're in time. Ta 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 ta. See, it sounds faster, but it's not really fast. It's not. There's no flams. It's just be back six eight. Okay. Yeah. That's what. Elbow. You're you're back to the irregular. It's like. Ichabod Crane or something. <laughs> Come on, elbows. No, no, no. You're not ready to stop. There. Now you're, now you're a professional. I didn't see much of a bend. Cock to the ceiling to the floor. Little turn. Cock to the ceiling to the floor. All the way to the floor. In the right. Left comes all the way to the floor. There, come on, cock your right. Come to the floor. Floor parallel, parallel. Get down, 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 down. Okay, now back to flams. Back to flams. No, just flams. No, sh stop showing up. That's cool. Just flams. It's hard enough. Come on. It's got to be an honest to goodness drop. No, you're turning the ceiling. It's supposed to drop. It's an upstroke. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, arms, arms, arms. Set up for me. It's our, it's our setup. Hey, okay, it's not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you don't have to count six, but you could. 
because you know that's where you're going, but it's got to drop. The right doesn't drop for the up. It's just supposed to drop. There, you're back. It's got to do that. See, it's, it's just, so right to the floor and then drops like a half an inch. Tiny, isn't it? Tiny. You're getting it. Ah, yeah, you like that. I'll write that up for you, that little start. It helps you. Right? Yes. I, have to think of it. I have to think about it, especially in this grip. Up, 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 up. It's wrist turn, 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 wrist turn. Yeah. And when I'm ready, I'm going to go ah, 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 ah. Mm. Yeah, and that's not even fast right now. We're not blowing that. No need. We're that's not what we're doing here. Up, up. Well, not bad. Flams back to flams with a drop, with a drop, an honest to goodness stroke. Now you got it. Drop, drop. Cock, come to this floor. Drop, drop, drop. No, he, right's got to drop. That's right, set up. There it is. There it is. You want to start like that? Beautiful. Six eight. Six eight. Don't lose it. Go right into it. I want you to dovetail. Back to flams. Back to flams. It's got to drop. Ah. Drop. There it is. You need okay. For 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 now, if you need to do that. Uh. To help yourself get back, but your back just drops. Six eight, cock to the ceiling. Six eight, drop, drops, cock. Turn to the ceiling. Turn more to the ceiling. Leave the beat down. Oh, it's looking good, dude. Okay, all right. So I think I brought you back. In fact, I think I moved you forward. Yeah, yeah. I gotta definitely brush up, brush the rust off. Right. Well, you, you, you brushed it off and then you brought out some of that brasso. <laughs> brushed it yeah. up. All right, I'm going to turn off the camera. Very good. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome, Jason.